By obtaining new materials obtained in the UCO, University of Cordoba, with plasma technology will be the architects to realize graphene batteries among others. Hydrogen technology produces only hydrogen, and hydrogen and graphene at once from ethanol. This research group at the University of Cordoba has studied the decomposition of ethanol to produce hydrogen using plasma technology. To do this they used, unique in Spain, cutting-edge technology through devices from the University of Montreal, Canada, by means of the novel technique could decompose ethanol useful substances for new batteries, only one for hydrogen and one to simultaneously achieve the production of hydrogen and graphene, specifically, two routes were described, both are compounds with high added value and employees and innovations for next generation batteries, so high expectations for this line of investigation open, it was a discovery in duplicate, the team, consisting of physical and chemical innovation laboratory plasmids, and in which collaborated a professor of organic chemistry, to pure been a technique for producing hydrogen from ethanol, an agricultural residue, when they obtain the same time solid carbon material very estimable amounts. After analyzing this material it was found to be very high quality graphene. The findings, published recently in Chemical Engineering Journal, now open to new routes for next generation batteries, only produce hydrogen or hydrogen and graphene. The group, in collaboration with the Office for Transfer of Research Results of the UCO, has already patented the procedure. The research was conducted within the framework of a project funded by the Ministry of Economy and Competitiveness. Speaking of plasma, the plasma, which explains the UCO, is present in our daily lives, for example, fluorescent tubes and low energy lamps. In fluorescent lamps, the gas contained therein is applied power, partially ionizing the gas and generating the interacting particles cause the emission of light. The novelty is in this case given to using these particles, in particular electrons, which can break break ethanol molecules leading to new compounds. Ethanol is formed by molecules of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen, so predictably obtaining at least hydrogen and carbon, but not the carbon atoms associate resulting structure of graphene, whose analysis it was derived which is of high quality in free metals by not using catalysts in the process. All this has diatintus purposes. The double track for obtaining hydrogen from ethanol graphene. Researchers are working currently in its industrial scale through a research and development, R and AMP. D, of the government of Andalusia, graphene is to make new electrode for fuel cells that do not need to use platinum as a catalyst, helping to lower the cost of this type of battery, the University of Cordoba has opened, in this sense, a new line of work to understand the potential of graphene in the energy field, additional university chemists have recently created an experimental lithium sulfur battery that lasts twice as long as lithium ion, it is safer than similar prototypes and could lead to electric vehicles at distances similar to those of combustion refueling. The researchers used an alternative source of lithium metal lithium ions in a nanostructure combining tin and carbon. To check if the battery was efficient, they were designed and tested prototypes in conjunction with the Sapienza University of Rome, Italy. Definitely, graphene is obtained precisely from ethanol. This, dehydrogenated hydrocarbon and leaves carbon and hydrogen. Now is the very complex process to realize these echoes laboratory to industry.